Welcome, um, Tauruses. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Tauruses. Um, this is the birthday reading for the Tauruses from the year uh, 2020 to 2021. I want to say thank you for being here, Taurus. I love you guys. You rock. You are really working together with the Capricorns. All right. So we're going to be looking at your year and see what exactly is going to be coming out. We're going to be looking at love. We're going to be looking at different aspects of uh, how your year is going to be looking. So if you were born um, 27th of April until the 3rd of May, this is your birthday reading. Please remember to become a member of my channel. As you become a member of my channel, what happened is that you can have a lot of uh, pros where you can receive a lot of information, um, extended readings, and that sort of a thing. I love you, Tauruses. Let's get in the reading to see what is coming up for you, Tauruses. This is going to be a good year. It's going to be a good year because it's a year of fire. And with these fire energies, what is coming up and what is transpiring is that there is just going to be positive alignment of energies. So we have the message from your guardian angel. So um, you'll be able to choose a card and it's going to be aligning you with your right energies. Okay, so um, for the people who were born on the 27th, you have the energy of the magician, and this is wonderful and it's very, very positive. Energy of the magician is a very positive energy. Um, the people who were born on um the um the 28, 29. So we have 27, 28, 29. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so good. So we have the 27, 28, 29, 30, and 1, 2, and 3. Wow. Alrighty. Tauruses, 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 Tauruses. So the peak, um, the peak of the year for you, Tauruses, is looking wonderful. I see um, information is going to be coming out. However, that is coming up and transpiring. A lot of information is going to be coming out. All right. I got to shift a little bit, Tauruses, in order to pick up something. Okay. So, all right. So, remember, use the link below. The link below is going to be taking you to your specific dates. So this is for the birthday readings for the people who were born the 27th until the 3rd of May. So let's see what is coming up for you guys. And I'm going to be doing this um, per zodiac energy, per zodiac energy, okay? So that you will be aligned with the right and proper energy. Use the link below in order to find um, what it is that you're connected with. So wonderful um, energies are coming up. We're going to be looking at love and looking at what is affecting you in your... Um, and, 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 you know, Taurus, is, it's really good to have a reading. And why it is good to have a birthday reading is because you're going to be seeing um the deceptiveness everything that is coming out and uh, um you're going to be very very happy okay so we have that then we're going to be looking at love but before we look at love we are going to be looking at what is um coming out? So Taurus says this year um looks really really good. Um whatever is transpiring. So Taurus says I see the energy of the fox. Some of you have to be careful. I see um success uh, with the situation. 
I see conflicts, uh, I see jealousy, but that's okay. And I see the end is coming in to some deceptive play. Wow, that is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I see the palm tree, I see healthy choices in relationship, healing is coming in, being stabbed in the back with a situation, corporation, institution, and coffee moments. So, hammer, I see relationships and marriages are going to be going through some phases, but it's okay. You will be able to resolve this. So with the palm tree, I see Jupiter. Ooh, love is coming up for the people um, who were born on the 27. Okay, there's a cancer that is running away. Let him run. It's okay. All right, so let's go in it. For the people who were born on the 27th, you have the energy of the magician. This is a wonderful energy, especially when it comes on to relationships or um, 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 business partnership and that sort of a thing. This is good. This is positive. What is transpiring here is that this year that is coming up is going to be a wonderful year. If you're thinking about getting married, relationships uh, is going to be good and business. Anything that to do with another person that you're working on is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Okay, so go for it. You need to protect yourself more in this uh, year. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you're not protecting yourself. You're too open and you need to protect yourself from people at work or people that you're connected with. There is a sly person you're going to be finding out. Uh, it could be someone you're working with, someone you're in a contract with, someone you are doing business with, or someone at work, but this person is very sly. Now, it could be also someone who you're married to. So whatever is transpiring this year is going to be Open up doors of opportunities for you, showing you the way, giving you the tools that you need in order to access a lot of stuff in this year. So this year is a year of potential for you guys, okay? A year of potential. When we look at love and what is going to be happening to you in love, it's it's absolutely fabulous. It is um, the palm tree and the palm tree has the energy of stability in relationships and that sort of a thing. So Taurus says, I see you're going to be having luck in marriage. Uh, whatever relationship or contract uh, you people who were born on the 27 is in, you are going to be extremely, extremely um happy because of positive alignment of energies that is coming up so happiness and joy is going to be here for you all right so um that is good for so for the 27th let's look and see um you have one you have 26 you have nine you have 14 okay and the relationship is looking good i see anything to do with contracts partnership working together with other people is going to be absolutely fabulous so however that is coming up for you in your life for the people who were born on the 27th it's going to be a good year it's going to be a year that is bringing in a lot of opportunities for you we're moving on to the people who were born on the 28th and we have the moon so there's a lot of secrecy, lies, deceptiveness, and a lot of secrecy that is transpiring. Now, the secrecy have to do with women. It could be your ex-partner, your ex-wife, or it has to be with women and children. A lot of secrecy and a lot of deceptiveness that you're going to be finding out in this year. Now, if you are a man, you're going to be losing. If you're a woman, you will win. But whatever is transpiring, there's a whole lot of information that is going to be coming up that some of you were not aware of and was not aware of who your wife or your partner is. Now, a lot of stuff is going to be happening with new start for you people and deceptiveness. But I see that you people are going to be making some very, very positive new starts in bringing in healthy relationships, whether in um, relationships with yourself and relationship with others I see you're going to be making a lot of changes because somehow you're going to be finding out things that you weren't aware of in this year and this is going to be exhilarating you at an higher level in your life because you're going to be making new decision and new awareness of what is transpiring 
so when the energy of the moon comes up for the people who were born on the 28 uh, and it has to do with families and family secrets some of you you gotta be aware of people and situations and who you're involved with because uh, you're going to be finding out a lot of information about them okay so be aware of that some deceptiveness is going to be at play in this year for the people who are born under 28 but i see you're going to be making healthy choices because i see new start is going to be coming up and with these new start that is going to be coming up in your life you're going to be making healthy choices now what we see is healthy choices and um some of you are going to be if you're in a relationship with um um, an Aries this relationship is going to be ended and you're going to be choosing for a Capricorn I see a lot of changes you're bringing discipline in your world you are a Saturn is going to be in your planet that is going to affect the people who were born on the 28 whatever it is with kids is going to be resolved you're going to be ma making the right choices for your children and if you are about to start something new there is going to be changes and you're going to be making the most healthiest choice for yourself and for your family so again if you're in a relationship with an aries you are going to be leaving this aries for this capricorn and uh, you're going to be realizing that the Capricorn is the most healthy person and healthy choices in order to have healthy relationships and this is going to be good so what you guys have is 28 is the moon so a lot of secrecy a lot of information it could be information about your mom about family about your partner your wife or your husband and um, husbands are going to, men are going to be losing out on whatever the secret is so um, if you have secret relationships and that sort of a thing, you men and um, your wives are going to be finding out in this year. So be aware of it. Your numbers are 18, 42, 5, 13. 18, 42, 5, and 13. You're working with Saturn and Mars. So there is going to be a shift in relationship, but you're going to be making healthy choices in whether relationship, business, or work. That is what is coming up for you guys. As we look at the people who were born on the 29th, I see transition. Transition is coming up and this is good. This is um, positive. Whatever the secrecy is and was, uh, is going to be coming out and a transition is coming in. Now, when the energy of death comes up, that means something is going to be ending in your life in order to give you a new start. And what is going to be ending in your life is conflicts. There was a lot of conflicts that was created by outside influence. A lot of you that was born on the 29th was dealing with a lot of conf conflicts that people with outside influence had created in your world. And what we see here and what is transpiring is that this conflicts is going to come to an end. There was a lot of conflicts. If you notice, you're going to be affected by a lot of conflicts that was created by people outside of your world people who you didn't even know or recognize but they have created so many conflicts and you are have to be balancing these conflicts and these deceptiveness out so be aware of this because what is transpiring is as if this is the year that you are going to be removing and resolving issues and situation in your life that you were not aware of that was transparent that other people have created and you're going to be standing your ground and taking back your life because there is just a whole lot of conflicts and uh, however this conflict is coming up and however um you are affected by some conflicts this is going to be ending and ending like in this year it's not going to be going on in 2022 so expect a lot of conflicts and a lot of situation but these are going to be coming to an end because you have the energy of debt and it's twice the conflicts so, so whoever was dealing with conflicts and outside influence in your life you are going to be very 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 successful in this year you're going to be very successful in this year because you're going to be releasing so if there was conflicts uh, where there was heartbreaks you're going to be successfully 
overcoming the heartbreaks and the deceptiveness but you have the energy of the star the energy of the star it is all about healing and all about you whatever the conflicts is and was is now ended and you came out very successful for some of you um, whatever health issues and um, situations you were dealing with whether in love or in your private life this is going to be ill work situation you're going to be extremely successful so we see eel in the hearts a lot of you had bad relationships a lot of conflicts the end of marriages a lot of conflicts and this is definitely going to be ill again I see um, Saturn is coming and affecting also you guys that was born on the 29th so some of you are going to be if you are heartbroken by a Capricorn or a cancer I see you're going to be ill in your heart okay and some of you could be meeting um, a, a Capricorn or a cancer but we have Saturn and Mars so secrecy and conflict so um, be aware of this relationship marriages could be affected in this year with a lot of conflicts but you're going to be successfully overcoming this it's about creating discipline and bringing back discipline in your world so this is going to be good for you guys so for the people who were born under 28 you have 13 you have 35 which is 8 um, you have five which is changes ending of situation you have 16 which is the energy of the star and that you're going to be overcoming whatever the obstacle is and you're going to be healing the heart chakra for whoever is heartbroken and you're going to be bringing transition because you have Saturn and Mars so you're going to be um, bringing transition in your world so congratulations now we're moving on to the people who were born on the 30th and the central is the emperor the emperor so a lot of you if you're in management position or you could be dealing with people in power now whatever this issue and the situation is I see a lot of you could become in consultants or if you are in consultants it's going to be affecting you so let's say that you have a business um, you can people consult with you and you help them to resolve their situation I see business is going to be good okay business is going to be extremely good I see people um, you're looking to create new avenues in your world and this is going to be very very positive because I see positive opportunities or and positive doors of opportunities is going to be opening for you people who were born on the 30th of April so this is absolutely fabulous this is good this is wonderful because transition but also positive transition is coming up when it comes on to work or if you decide um, to go in business for yourself it's going to be a good year and it's going to be yes and I see you're going to be creating balance some of you who were already in business um, even with the shutdown I see as you pick up in the next six months your business is still going to be surviving this shutdown so be aware um, of what is happening in this year it is a very very positive year is a is a year if you're studying if you're with situation and you're studying however this is coming up the business whatever is transpiring this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous so um open up to the 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 business especially in business and whatever you are trying to um access create in your world it is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous so I see um, corporations if you're dealing with people in higher power and that sort of a thing I see this is going to be happening now some of you who are in relationship with a Leo or a cancer I see this person is going to be stabbing you in your back so if you are in a relationship or you live or you work with a Leo or a cancer they're going to be stabbing you in your back you're going to be finding out about this so whoever and whatever is transpiring you're going to be finding out that either somebody that someone that you work with or you that you work with or you live with who is in a relationship you're going to be finding out that they stab you in the back and it has to do with a Leo or a cancer so what is going to be happening and we're going to be taking a look and we're going to be asking a question 
how these people are affecting you and whoever this Leo is and this cancer I see its polarity but you are going to be overcoming this because um, it is the Sun in um, Mars so the truth is going to be coming out and you're going to be finding out about what people have done to you and how they have created destructiveness around you but it's as if it's going to be falling away um, from you so it can be happening at home or um, out on the work floor okay so for the people who are born on the 30th let me look at what is transpiring and I see a lot of you are going to be hammering out situations and resolving situations so let's look at this Leo and this cancer um, what should the Tauruses know about this heartbreaks and stabbed in the back by a Leo and a cancer so um, there it is all right so what is transpiring is that um all right so Aaliyah is not going to be receiving whatever the Leah has done and created lies and deceptiveness if you notice you will receive some message finding out that Aaliyah has deceived some of you so however this is transpiring you're going to be finding out that Aaliyah has deceived some of you and I see the truth is going to be coming out and I see that they are going to be resolving the situation okay because they are going to be finding out that a Leo has been lying and deceive you of a lot of money and a lot of situations around you and you are going to be finding out because what is transpiring is that this is the six of one it's not happiness for the Leo but you are going to be finding out what this Leo has done so really deceptive person that has happened I see they're going to be finding out and resolving the situation so congratulations to the people who were born in the month of uh, April we're going to be looking at the people who were born in the month of May happy birthday for the people who were born in the month of May May 1st you're going to be moving forward a lot of victory and success you're going to be receiving information that is going to let you know that you have victoriously overcome a deceptiveness which has played this is going to be over a house, over your business, over some property. However, this is coming up and transpiring. You are going to be victoriously overcoming this situation because uh, um, they are going to be, you're going to be receiving some good news in this year. So in the beginning of the year, if you were doing an exam or you are passing or you're looking for a house or a business, success is there at work for you. Victory and success over some deceptive situation that was created a, a couple of years ago or um, coming in this timeline and uh, uh, you know this is going to be a good year for the people who are born on May 1st because what we're seeing here is that truths are coming out a lot of truths are coming out the lies and the deceptiveness is going to be over and a lot of truths is coming out I see that there's some conflicts uh, some of you are in a relationship with a cancer there are some conflicts this person do not want to be um in a relationship this person is a runner and it is better for you to let go of this person so if you are in a relationship with a cancer and you realize that this person do not want to commit with you it's time to let it go and in this year you're going to be finding out that it's time to let it go this is going to be a good year because if you focus on business and creating and buying a house if you want to buy a house a car this is going to be a good year you're going to be receiving a lot of deals anything to do with properties and that sort of a thing some of you could be finding out that things are going to be coming to you from your parents and that sort of a thing so it is a really successful year for you guys that is born on the 1st of April so wonderful wonderful alignment of energies victory and success over some deceptive play that someone has tried whether with your business whether but it's with your stability so it's with money um, um and and whoever this person is that has uh, done this I see a lot of conflicts but they are going to be um, caught you are lucky it's going to be a lucky year for the people who are born in um, May it's a very very lucky year I see emotional um, 
fulfilled you're going to be emotional fulfilled however that is coming up I see some conflicts with people who are in relationship with a runner the runner is someone who doesn't want to um, con um, commit to a relationship and I see that you guys who were born on the 1st of May is going to decide to let go of this person once you let go of this person someone new is going to definitely come in it's a very lucky year Jupiter is in um, it's going to be helping you to bring you a, a lot of luck so be open up to this and be advised of what is transpiring and know because whatever the conflicts is with this person whoever this runner is or the runner is people who do not want to connect with you okay they skip from one person to another let it go doesn't serve you dualities a lot of dualities is happening but it is a year of victory and success and unexpected luck with business and work and that sort of a thing it's going to be coming in and I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming a situation either with the workplace or um, with a home or a property you're going to be overcoming this and it's going to be good so wonderful energy when it looks to love and the rest there could be conflicts because of jealousy so you guys have seven um 46 which is 10 10 which is one and zero four good long-term stability dualities with relationships so some of you could be connecting with your soulmate or twin flame in um the astro at the at night but um some of you are going to be having luck um finding out something um, that you were not aware of okay so this is going to be good alrighty so let's move on people who were born on the 2nd of May I see the energy of uh, materialistic stability is coming in issues with the mother issues with you as a woman where you're trying to find balance some of you women could lose your job in this year but I see you're going to be um, picking up and standing up and receiving a new job so if you lose your job then definitely right after that you and this is for um, whoever is there definitely after that you're just going to be picking up another job just like that there's a lot of love some of you could, ladies could be getting pregnant so be aware of this because there's a lot of love that is coming in but um, be careful because fertility for you Taurus is, is in this year wonderful alignment of energy a lot of love and women are going to be feeling as if your biological clock is awakened in this year but you're also going to be feeling everyone is going to be feeling this sort of a love that is flowing and the female um, energy is going to be coming up where the female frequency for both men and women is going to be coming up so this is good and remember if you lose a job you're just snap 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 it's going to be getting a new job right away okay so be aware of that so the energy and this is your sister energy um, and this is an earth energy that is bringing you balance so this is absolutely wonderful um, definitely news of new offer could be coming in new position some of you are going to be changing your jobs that is a definite uh, that some of you are going to be changing your jobs when we look I see some of you are dealing with a jealous woman whoever this woman is um, very very jealous um, especially you ladies and create illusions and conflicts and whoever this person is again a lot of you are dealing with leos and cancer okay and i see whoever this person is is really deceptive it's a snake okay and um you gotta be aware to keep away from this leo and this cancer but it is the sun in mars the sun in mars but the sun energy has to do with uh, the energies of the Leos. And um, there could be just information that is going to be coming out. This is a nasty person. Keep away from this person, whoever you are, okay? Because um, this is like um, if you are married, your husband um, 
could have a third person and this person is very deceptive a very deceptive person and this person never gets enough it's really someone who wants wants it all they never get enough it's a really sick deceptive person and whatever is happening and transpiring the sun and the moon however this is affecting um you guys who were born on the second you gotta be careful of the deceptive people around you very horrible but i see the truth because the energy of the sun came out and show up this person for who they are so it can be one person but it could be many people very deceptive not enough it's as if they can't get enough they're always frustrated they're always in need you know that deceptive sort of a thing so be aware of that sort of a people that you are going to be um facing to work with in this year so for the people who are born on the second i see materialistic stability is going to be coming in i see um new offers career changes is coming up which is good but i see new love is also coming in i see some of you keep clear of people that you realize is, is is will want too much lies deceptiveness these sort of a negative people so what we're seeing here is three um 48 which is 12 the ace of cups a whole lot of love is going to be coming in this year but you're dealing with some nasty deceptive jealous people around you some of you could find out about a third party in a relationship and i see you're going to be hammering down this and get the person out of your marriage congratulations we're moving on to the people who were born on the 3rd of may and it's all about love it's all about uh, relationships all about family relationships and family it's a sweet card especially when it comes up with relationship and family marriages um soulmate twin flame relationship for you guys in this year is going to be good you have the energy of a sweet sweetness the card is coming in and this is wonderful truths are going to be seen okay a lot of you are going to be finding out things about your kids or about your partner but it's as if unexpectedly you're seeing people for who you are um the truth is going to be coming out and i see a drastic ending in um some of your relationship like truths are, are going to be coming out about your partner something that was done your husband or your wife something was done that you were not aware of and I see that this is going to be coming out but when it comes on to business and uh, um, work contracts and that sort of a thing it's going to be an absolutely absolutely wonderful year so truths 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 are going to be coming in I see love um, a whole lot of love um, marriages could be ending however this is transpiring I see marriages could be ending if you're in a relationship with a Taurus or a Libran. I see a divorce coming up. So people who are in relationship with Taurus or Libran, a divorce is coming up or a separation. Whatever is transpiring here is that this is when you reach the point that yes, this relationship or this marriage is not working out anymore. And I see you're going to just, um, you know, really bam out coal. If there is a third party in your relationship you're going to cut that person definitely out or you're going to be walking away from this relationship so I see conflicts and you know conflicts and also some really nasty deceptive people and this is going to be ending and this is so good because whoever um, you know I'd always um, work against you or try to create obstacles and situation for you guys these people are out of your life in this year so congratulations this is good this is going to be a very wonderful positive year it's going to be a year where you're cutting out people who are not vibrating on your frequency and whether they're their family members or their love partners or their husbands and wife you're going to be ending that issue that relationship and moving forward so here we are um mars in um venus mars in venus so that is a whole lot of problem in marriage love relationship and the rest is okay but marriage love and relationship um mars in venus is not good it is uh, a separation and then divorces okay if you see that short cut is coming in 
so yeah, um, it is, um, it is very serious. Um, it is, um, absolutely a very serious, uh, oopsie daisy, a very serious, um, situation that is transpiring. So you have to make changes. However, you're going to be making changes in your world. So people who are born on the 3rd of May, um, we have the energy of the lovers and it's going to be sweet. Some of you could be getting married or deciding to get married or realizing that someone you're in a relationship is, is the right person. Business wise, contract wise, that sort of a thing is looking absolutely wonderful and fabulous. I see an end that could be coming to relationships. So we have six and six. So it's all about love. Six and six, double six, love and materialistic wealth is coming in. Some of you are going to be seeing the truth to someone you're in a relationship or your partner, your husband and wife, and you're going to be handing it. So I see a lot of marriages is going to be ended. All right. So let's see what is coming up for you, Tauruses. And you have one message and it's a caress. Carissa and this is a guiding angel and she says you're at the end of a cycle in your life Call upon the angels to comfort you and to guide you to the next step for happiness awaits you now so This is the energy of the guiding angels and this is absolutely um, Positive because this is exactly what this reading is all about is that there is a lot of endings There's a lot of endings. There's a lot of things that is happening and transpiring in your world that has been happening. Now you're seeing the truth in this year and you're ending a lot of issues and situation with people who are not um, vibrating on your own frequency and you're letting it go. So congratulations. And I'm saying namaste. Remember to use the stamp, time stamp at the bottom in order to pick up your own day. And this birthday reading is from the 27th of april until the 3rd of may thank you guys love you namaste